Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to either add or remove different speech voices in Windows 10. So perhaps you are an avid user of Cortana or the narrator, and you're looking to adjust what speech is used to read text that maybe will appear on your screen. This tutorial will be for you. So we're going to start and jump into it by opening up the Star menu. Type in Settings. Best match, should come back with settings right above app, so go ahead and left click on that. Select the time and language tile. Select speech on the left side. So on the right side you want to scroll down underneath voices here. So should be something that says manage voices, so go ahead and left click on add voices if you're looking to add a voice, so you can add whatever you want here. Should be a pretty extensive list, so I'm just going to add a language here for example here. So now you can see we are installing a new voice package in here. And now once you want to actually delete a voice pack, you want to click on it and then select remove. However, if you only have one voice pack installed, you can't remove it because that's the default pack. However, once this Canadian English dialect is finished downloading and we wanted to set that to default, we'd be able to delete the other one. So pretty straightforward I'd like to think so just keep that in mind so you would be able to remove it once you had another one installed so we're just actually going to wait for the other language pack to be installed here should only take another couple moments here it appears Okay, so once that's installed, now you have the ability to remove the other voice pack. So if you have one that's not your default one, so choose a voice. You click on the drop down here. You'd be able to go ahead and change your languages here. And again, under the manage voices, you want to remove one. Now, let's say we want to remove the one we just installed. We're going to select remove, and it removes pretty quickly. So hopefully, it shouldn't have been that hard to follow there, guys. Close out of here once you're done, and that should hopefully be about it. So you guys saw there are options to actually change the voice in there as well, but this was based on actually removing speech voices as well as adding them. It wasn't actually about changing the speech, so I didn't really spend too much time highlighting that, but it was all available on that page that we were just on. So just want to throw that out there. Do hope I was able to help you guys out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.